Welcome to Tamla and Taylor's Treat Talk Tuesday podcast, where we talk to you about treats, business, and life. We are back with another episode this week. We are talking about content. We are getting ready for the end of the year sales, and we just want you guys to be prepared as well. So we're going to take you along on this journey so that you can see how we plan for our end of the year sales, and hopefully you'll learn some tips and tricks on how to do the same. It's Tuesday! My name is Taylor. I am owner of Taylor's Kitchen located in Albion, Michigan, where we make custom sweet treats for your special occasions. We can be found on all social media platforms at Sweet Spirit Treats. Over to Pamela. Oh, thank you. Hi, everyone. I am Tamala Walker. I am owner of Torlitas for that sweet and crunchy taste. Torlitas is a dessert company located right here in this great state of Ohio where we specialize in salty, sweet treats. If you want to know more about me and my business, go to at Torlitas. That's T as in Tuesday, O R L I T A. Yes, yes. And so today we are just talking about, as we said, end of the year sales and what we are going to be doing. And so a big part of going about any business is planning. A lot of people, um, especially if they have products, sometimes they just like throw things together and um, they're like, especially if it's a dessert, they're like, oh, I made this bomb banana pudding cheesecake. So I'm just going to sell this, you know, today. And so Yes, that works, especially if you already like made it, you have some pictures, you know, you let some people taste it maybe, and they're like, yeah, this is good. And people are often like, you should sell that, right? And so when they're telling you, yeah, you should sell something, they're not often giving you um, a strategy for selling it. They're just like, hey, jump into it, sell it, post one picture, and you're going to get, you know, hundreds of orders. And that may be the case if you're, consistent in you know doing that or having pop-ups or something like that but we're just trying to get a little bit more planning done um and think through our processes so they are much easier for us as we go on promoting for the rest of the year so you have anything you want to add Tamla? yeah um definitely um you know, promoting is a wonderful thing if you're great at it. And even if you're not so great at it, it still can be done. Yes, yes, definitely. And so we have come up with a couple examples that we're going to give you guys about how to um, start with what you're going to be promoting. So for example, if you are... <clears throat> going to be having a special cupcake sale right and so you're like all right it's august it's the first of the month you know i did this last month i know what i want to do and so for this next week i'm gonna focus on say red velvet cupcakes right and so the first thing you know boom you got your flavors some people do flavors of the month some people do cookies of the week and they just take that time to really focus on um what they're going to be selling and so that helps them with developing content that helps them with you know doing different things like their stories or um different flyers and different things like that so these things can be planned like months and months in advance um but a big part with being a business owner is just stopping and thinking especially if you have to like make a physical product just like stopping thinking, planning out what you want to do. I know for me, that's like one of the toughest things, right? I'm just like, I'm ready to go. I want to do something. I got an idea. I got an idea. And so like stopping and thinking and planning out, it's a little bit challenging, but it's getting better, a lot better, right? So we got this red velvet cupcake, right? And so we know since we got this red velvet cupcake, we know already know how much it costs us to make this cupcake, right? So we know for this week, say we're going to do, <clears throat> the cupcakes are going to be um, $2 each for a red velvet cupcake. And so we got the price and we know how much we want the cupcakes to be. So we're going to start to make the recipe, right? 
So we're gonna record as much as we can from start to finish. We're gonna go, we're gonna, we could even record ourselves, you know, going shopping for the product. We got it. We know how much it's gonna be, we know the price. And now we're gonna work on um just building up this product. We're gonna promote it as many places as we can. And we know that is gonna be from say August 5th to August 12th. We're only gonna focus on these red velvet cupcakes. Now that don't mean we're not gonna sell nothing else in our bakery, right? Because we might have a cake that we're doing. And so we might post a picture of the cake. But if we have something to focus on to promote, it often makes it easier to build content. And we're gonna let Tamala talk a little bit more about what is content and how we can build it up so that we can have different promotions that we're focusing on. So it'll help us to be strategic in our planning for the end of the year sales. Yeah, thank you, Taylor. That was a good explanation of um, uh, promotion and things like that. So when it comes to content, don't overthink it. How many times have you like, oh, I don't know if I should do that. What is content? I mean, how many times, how many hours? Let's just say that. How many hours do you TikTok, do you Instagram and watching everyone else's content and you haven't put up anything? I know right. I'm guilty of it. Yeah, Me I know too. I'm guilty of it. I'm like, <laughs> oh, it looked so good. Look at that. Look what you did. Yeah. Like, you didn't post anything today. <laughs> No. And speaking of promotion, I'm going to take a sidebar. Please, every Saturday, join our Facebook group where you can showcase what you have made throughout the week so we can give you a heart, a like, and a share through our Facebook group. Okay? That's my small promotion there. All right. So back to content. What is content? Content can be anything. Content can be anything that you can use to promote your product, okay? You're talking about, Taylor gave us the example, red velvet cupcakes, okay? She mentioned about the ingredients. Okay, take your phone or your mobile device that records and record at least 11 seconds of you going down the aisle, picking the ingredients. That's content. Record how you're going to your favorite uh, cake supply store. Take a picture of the front of it. That's content. If you were um, talking to someone on the phone about selling your product, you might want to do a bulk order. You're picking up the phone. You showcase yourself, talking to the people. We don't have to hear the volume, okay? You, that you're talking to people, maybe writing down something. That is content. So aside from all the wonderful pictures that you can um, take of your cupcakes or red velvet cupcakes, we have a wonderful speaker that's going to showcase um, with us about how to stage your product um, that's coming up this month in August. So you'll be um, able to tune in and see her tips and tricks on how to do that as well. And content can be audio, it can be video, or guess what? It can be someone else's work. Okay, it can be someone else's work. What you need to do is give them um, kind of like they, I think you could put like a, a photo, a camera photo in your camera picture, excuse me, in your text or your body descri describing your photo and to say, hey, this photo credit goes to Taylor's Kitchen, you know, something like that. Just give them a shout out that you're using thing and how wonderful their product look or how wonderful her red velvet cupcakes look, okay? So that is really what content is, all right? Or if you're one of those people that cooks with your children or cooks with your mom or cooks in a community kitchen, Take a video of that, take a picture of that and say how much you enjoy, you know, cooking at the community kitchen. You enjoy creating treats for, with your children or have, you know, things like that. So I'm really up on content. I'm trying to myself, even trying to not overthink what content is. Um, when you're out and about, just take some um, pictures. And this is another sidebar to that when you're taking pictures or uh, taking your video or recording uh, video, 
your your we I think Taylor and I just talked about this before. Your uh, space on your device will fill up very very quickly. Okay, so okay. what you want to do? <laughs> say it again. I said it it will fill up extremely fast. Yeah, it does. Yes. So either you can pay for space on your Google account and put it in your drive, or you can get an external drive or a jump drive, a thumb drive, they call it, or anything like that to save your work. Because uh, one thing that happened to me <laughs> is that um, I ran over my phone and I lost a lot of content. So uh, I had to get an another phone. So that's just yeah, word for the wise. You ran over the phone. <laughs> I ran over the phone with my car. <laughs> it was it was such a crushing moment. I mean, it crushed Aww. it, but I was crushed too. But nonetheless, I, I did have some things backed up on um, on my drive, and now I put it so it automatically backs it up, so I don't have to think about it. That's good. Yeah, and also. Um, <laughs> the way that content can be generated, you can just write something out in a text form and paste it to your social media. It doesn't have to be extra, you know, special. People get it, you know. No, you're probably not with all the lights and bells and whistles like other people do, but you're not competing with them. You're not, just be yourself. Be yourself that's unscripted, that is, um, you know, not an artist. Okay. And not a, not a person that knows how to do all the bells and whistles. People appreciate authenticity. So I'll, I'll end with that. Yes. Yes. People do appreciate authenticity. And I think that's one of the key things that I've heard lots of creators say is just, you know, simply what you said, being yourself. Um, and you can also do voiceovers. Um, yes. You can do voiceovers. You can, you know, cut and chop different videos I did um the I got a new oven guys so yeah. once I got a new oven I was thinking to myself right I'm like you know how you be tired from moving everything and you be doing all kinds of different stuff right so I'm like at least I'm gonna like do like what Tamla said I'm gonna record it was literally some five second clips of me like of my husband like putting the oven on on the dolly I couldn't record us going through the door because that was a workout in itself and I was helping but like different things like that right so um going in the store looking at the different options for ovens you know different things like that just record just and it don't have to be that long like I don't know if you guys phone show you how much recording time you have left like on the top of the screen but mm -hmm. mine does and once it starts dwindling down I'm like ah I gotta conserve you know yes but, um, the good thing about uh for instance like the drives is that once you uh once it backs it up you can go in and you can remove the old files um and that will open up a lot more space just simply going in and removing the old files on your phone because they've already been backed up to Google Drive. Yeah. So just those small things will get you more um, more ways to um, have be able to do more content. And so start planning out what you want to do. Literally sit there, get a journal, write out everything. Um, for Thanksgiving, if you celebrate Thanksgiving, what are you going to do? Um, for um, New Year's, Christmas, you know, lots of people celebrate those holidays. And so what promotions are you going to do? Are you going to sell pies for Thanksgiving? All right. What flavor pie are you going to sell? Are you going to do sweet potato? Are you going to do pumpkin pie? You know, are you, how are you going to like display these things? All these things you can think about now. So it doesn't seem like so much um, when you're in that time because a lot of people I found um when I wanted to do more with social media and planning and stuff like that I'm like all right people are already doing back to school stuff people started doing back to school stuff like a couple of weeks ago in in July and I as much as I don't want to have to start you know back to schooling it's coming it's coming regardless <laughs> of if I plan for it or not and so <clears throat> Just, you know, 
think about how things are going. I know um, major corporations, they start planning for in the year stuff like last year when things ended. And so if you want to like expand and like think bigger about your business, just try to, you can even go on YouTube. Sometimes I go and I look up um, how bigger corporations operate just because I want to know um, what I can aim for, you know, what I can do, but it's still going to be my way. It's still going to be how, um, uh, it's still going to be authentic to me. And so that's just what we're talking about. Promoting, planning, everything is content. I know you guys heard that song. Everything is content. You know, that's really true. <laughs> right. Don't forget to film it. She should be like getting paid lots from her reel right now. Okay. Oh, yes. that song Absolutely. Is, is really good. Um, even like that too, sounds if people start to like repurpose like your sounds that you do um, from TikTok or like you being honest, like I always wanted to do this sound and maybe I'll do it, but just everything, you don't know what's gonna blow up. You don't know what's gonna be like the most popular, but once you see a trend, you already know what you did or just think about what you're doing. If you're getting a thousand plays on a reel, what are you doing right. in that video? Keep doing that. Keep putting out that type of content so that hopefully you can just keep being consistent and it'll end up with more sales, more revenue. And eventually it won't be as hard because you know what you're doing. So pay attention right. to what you're doing. I agree. Yep. Yep. So that has been our episode about promoting and what is content um, if you guys need help with anything, Tamla is a digital VA, and I do mm-hmm. have some information. <laughs> if you want to leave a comment down below, if you have any questions about anything, please let us know. Um, this is Tamla and Taylor's Treat Talk Tuesday, known as 5T Podcast, and I am Taylor, owner of Taylor's Kitchen, located in Albion, Michigan, where we make custom sweet treats for your special occasion. We also specialize in gluten and dairy-free treats. I can be found on all social media platforms at Sweet Spirit Treats, and we will put it here or here or somewhere around there. I'm going to let Tamla introduce, I mean, Say her farewell. <laughs> all right. Thank you. I thought, you know, I, I love all of our, our our podcasts. I think they're just chock full of good stuff. And, and I just hope that our audience is really, you know, taking heart to what we share because that's what our platform is all about. We care about treats, business, and life. And um, I think we kind of sprinkle a lot of that throughout our videos. So with that being said, I am Tamala um, with Torlitas for that sweet and crunchy taste. And I want you to have a wonderful, wonderful week. Um, if you haven't already, we have a download for you, a replay of our networking um, webinar that we did on the 29th of July. So um, we'll have that available for you for a $7 purchase. And if you've missed it, or if you might want to replay to get all the gems that we spilled in that uh, that webinar as well. So with that being said, I want you to have a blessed week and stay tuned because we got some wonderful things coming up for the month of, of August. I'll say July, the month of August. And <laughs> I can't wait to share with all of you. Yeah, I can't wait to share with all of you what we have in store. So we're going to buy, going by the winter sales playbook. So it's going to be a play-by-play of all the things you need to do to get you ready. All right, guys. Have a blessed week. Bye. Bye.